Want to know how to create a retro VHS effect in Premiere Pro? Check this out. Hi, this is Alex from Massive, the fastest way to deliver your large media files online. Sign up with Massive today and you'll get 100 gigabytes free to send your files anywhere you want. I'll leave you the link in the description box below. All right, let's talk about VHS effect. Call it aesthetics or nostalgia, but the VHS effect has blown up in popularity in the past few years. Videos recorded in VHS look more high contrast with dull whites. The objects on the video are more blurry with colored leaks, and in general, the whole image has a grainy texture, a yellowish, greenish tone, and colors appear more muted. You can even sometimes see glitches, vignettes, and a subtle constant twitchy movement. Nowadays that we're using digital recorders, we have to recreate the organic feel of tape videos the best we can, and it's all about the details. Let me show you how to do this vintage style in Premiere Pro. All right, let's go to the color tab here to open up the Lumetri effect. Let's also keep the Lumetri scope open by clicking on this tab. It will let us see how we're modifying the image with more detail. In basic correction, we're going to raise the contrast. Around there looks good. Now lower the whites to make them more dull. Yes, yeah, something like that. We're going to keep them around 80 and 90. We need to fade this image a bit as well, so let's raise the blacks. We'll keep them around 10. Sweet! The image is in high contrast, but we remove some of the brightness and deepness of the whites and blacks. You can also modify the lighting directly from the Curves tab. I recommend first increasing the contrast on the Basic tab and then go to the Curves tab. Make a point in the middle of the white line, then grab the top corner point that represents the brightest part of the image. Lower it to dull the whites. Raise the bottom corner point to brighten the dark tones and have that faded look. Let's just reset all of this and just do the contrast and whites from the basic tab. Now we're going to move to the creative tab. Here are a lot of options that will help us with the look we want. The faded film option will help us with the fade. Raise it just a bit to keep those darker tones around 10. In Sharpen, lower it to lose that crispy contemporary look. In Vibrance, let's lower it to get those muted tones. You can also lower the saturation, but just a little bit. Okay, let's add some tint with these color wheels. In Shadows, I'm going to go a little bit closer towards the magenta, and in Highlights, I'll get a little bit closer to the greens. Perfect. Now go to Color Wheels and Match and we will adjust the midtones, dragging the plus sign towards the yellows. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a hint of yellow. All right, to finish with Lumetri, we will go to the Vignette tab, and in the first option, Amount, let's put minus two. You can go higher or lower if you want. We're going to make this intense because we're going to make this clip square, so part of the vignette will be cropped. Okay, let's go back to the editing mode and click on the Effects tab. We're going to look for Channel Blur and add it to our clip. This effect is going to help us recreate the color bleed on the edges of the objects. On the effects control panel, drag the channel blur up so it doesn't modify our vignette. We have to do this with all of the next effects that we are going to apply. On the first option, red blurriness, raise it to around 30 or less. Make sure this box for repeat edge pixels is checked. And from the drop down menu, select horizontal. Drag a new channel blur effect to the clip right below the first one. This time, we're going to put the blue blurriness around 30 or less, and the red one maybe around 15. From the drop-down menu, select this time Vertical. Super! Let's go back to effects. The next effects we will add are going to help us regain some of the sharpness while keeping the blurriness. We're going to use Unsharp Mask and Color and Boss. With Unsharp Mask, we will raise the radius maybe to 20 and the amount around 85. In Color Emboss, let's increase the relief just a little bit. Yes, looking good. Back to effects. Let's search for noise and grab the one that's on noise and grain for our clip. Here, raise the amount of noise until you like it. I will leave it at 20. Okay, for the last time on effects, look for wave warp. Change the wave warp to smooth noise the wave height to 2 or 3, wave width around 1000, direction 0, and in pinning, select horizontal edges. Excellent! There you go! To do the final touches, I'm going to put the black bars on the sides to make the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. On the project window, click on the paper icon to add a new item. 
Here, let's create a color mat and make it black. Add two clips of this black color we created on top of our clip and look on effects for crop. Add it to both black clips. On the first black clip with the cropped effect, we're going to set up the left at 86. In the other black clip, we're going to set up the right at 86. Also, set both of their edge feathers to around 30. That's it. Now just select all of the effects, right click and save preset. This way you can just drag and drop this effect to any of your clips in the future. When you finish your video, use Massive to send it for reviews or final deliveries to anyone anywhere in the world. This is the fastest and most secure way to deliver all your files, large or small, to anyone that needs them, your clients, collaborators, anyone in your team. Don't forget to click on the description box below to get your 100 gigabytes free. Just sign up and you'll get it like this. If you want more filmmaking tricks, please click that like and subscribe button and toggle the little bell icon over there. We have more tutorials coming and for now I'll just leave you with this glitchy text video. You can get some really cool tips to also add to the VHS look. See you next time. Bye!